안녕하세요. Welcome to a s Kitchen. I'm Aaron. Today's menu is Yeok. In Korea, there is one TV show called Bongsang i m o Have you heard of it? Anyways, there was one scene that Chinese movie star Wu h y o g a n g ate m i y o k g u He loved m i y o k g u and he said it's the best. I've never imagined other countries' people like m i y o k g u that much. I thought m i y o k g u is so Korean taste, so it cannot be a global food. Also, the texture is so slippery. Actually, my wife knows I don't like. Actually, I hate this kind of texture. So, whenever we go to beach, Korean beach, she always get some seaweed and from somewhere and make me hold it in my hand. She's kind of a little evil. <laughs> Anyways, Korean people usually eat m i y o k g u on our birthday or after giving a birth. But you can eat anytime you like. Okay, let's make m i y o k g u First, you need to soak the seaweed for 20 minutes. You can buy this dried seaweed from Korean grocery stores. This time, you need to be very careful about the amount of seaweed. It is dried one, so it is very hard to measure it. Soaked seaweed will swell 10 times bigger. 10 times. I need to put it back. <laughs> Alright, now we need to rinse the soaked seaweed to clean. We need to wait about 20 minutes. Cut them. And drain the water. Use this kitchen towel, you need to take out blood from beef, like this. This will make the soup clearer. Put some sesame oil in a pot and stir fry the beef. After that, add seaweed. And keep frying.
Oh, smells good already. And add water and boil it. But this water is not normal water. This is the secret I haven't told you yet. So I shall introduce secret now. When you make Korean soup, you gotta use this saltimur. Saltimur has some starch and water soluble protein, so it is full of healthy nutrients. And it makes soup to be better taste. So when you make kimchi jjigae, denjang jjigae, or something like that, you gotta use this one. You gotta use it. How to make it? Follow my direction. Okay, rinse the rice and drain the water. And repeat one more. The third time. You can get certain more. Okay. Add certain more and boil it with over high heat. When it comes to boil, you need to season with 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. And 2 tablespoon of soy sauce. And put some salt and pepper to taste. Boil 20 minutes more until seaweed becomes mushy. Okay, it's done now. I gotta serve it. Let me taste it with rice and kimchi. If you have this miyoku, you don't need any side dish, any different side dishes, except kimchi.
guys! Today I showed you how to make miyoko. Compared with other soup, other Korean soups, this is really easy and healthy one. You should try it. Thank you for watching my recipe. I'll always show you the easiest way to cook, even if the menu is complicated. You don't have to cook fancy or complicated masterpieces. Just cook food from your kitchen. Uh, if you liked my show and want to see my next episode, please subscribe down below there. And your comment is really important to me, so please leave many comments. Alrighty then, enjoy my recipe and I'll see you next time. Thank you!